the alternative is just doing normal lanes and relying on stuff like Decrepify and Treant Armor to just save you. So either way, I think it's fine for Secret. Like, they don't have to go aggressive, but they, they can. All right, let's see what comes out here with the second game between Team Secret and Complexity. In a, in a series that so far, well, the first game, quite a close one between the two sides. Team Secret did end up taking the win. Let's see if Complexity are able to step it up even more in this match to try and force it to a draw. Some uh, kind of interesting picks coming out from both sides here. We're going to see something maybe a little bit different. And we're going to see if Team Secret, the masters of the Tusk Techies combination, know how to deal with it when Complexity bring it to the forefront. And okay, Puppy leveling up Nature's Guys straight away. That's actually not good that he had to skill that at level 1. It's not really the ideal skill for a tree. Yeah, I've got a sentry on flying. They're going to drop it, but Puppy did go the opposite way. But uh, Good attempt there from the side of Complexity, just seeing if they could catch out this tree. Yeah, Puppy already eating for a fair bit of his mana here, just to ensure that he keeps himself alive. We'll be able to get the ward down. Is he going to walk back this way? There is this sentry placed down. Moon is around. But uh, they've already left it. They're already looking to head back to their lanes. So Puppy's going to be okay. But uh, having to use essentially all of his mana pool here will probably even just head back to base at this point, I guess. Yeah, looks like... Oh, he's got, okay, he's got three clarities. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why is Zai... Is Zai going mid? He's going mid against... Okay, so this is okay. what they're doing. This okay. is what they're doing. They want to dodge the Queen Viper matchup. Wow. Right? Obviously. Like, you don't want to have that matchup come to fruition. Brood mid is actually good. Because normally, these heroes, you would try to gank. Even something like a, a Queen of Pain, you can at least pressure because you know your 1v1 matchup is going to win. Viper is terrible against Brood in lane. Like, crazy bad. Then you have a hero who can actually blink away from any sort of initiation from a Tusk Techies, so they also win in that lane. And they are going to go aggressive. So they were going to go aggressive, it's just they ended up switching the mid matchup and the, the safe lane to ensure that they get, like, two much better lane matchups. And they are, yeah. They're putting Legion now in the mid lane and Fly heading up to the top lane with Swindle Melons in oh. bottom lane. Okay. The That's Tusk Techies. He ran into mines, actually. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, Zeefreak doesn't get... He doesn't get suicide at level one. He does this every game. He 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 skills uh, suicide at two and three, but at level one he always gets mines. Okay, Kuroki and Puppy are gonna find Swindle Melons, but can they bring him down? That's the question here. With the punches from Puppy doing a fair bit, we'll just force Swindle Melons back. Not gonna be able to find themselves to kill bottom lane again. Just see Freak and Moon going straight in on S4, forcing him back. And wow, what an exciting game we're gonna have on our hands here with the amount of. Uh, of lane switching up and just, okay. So in terms of the, how the lanes have rested up now, the fact that they have got the Legion up against the Brood, top lane, they've got Swindle who's gonna try and farm against this RTZ Kuroki combination with the backup of Puppy. And bottom lane going in on S4, this time we will be able to get the blink out. We'll quite be able to catch him though, get the ice shards out onto him though. And making this lane a bit of a nightmare here for S4 who still is yet to be able to find a single CS here down on the bottom lane. The other thing, too, is they were actually putting him out of experience range. That's a really big thing. Most combinations of heroes would not be able to pressure a queen so much that you have to sit out of experience range in your own safe lane. So really nice for Complexity to be able to do that. And uh, the LC versus Brood matchup. Obviously, LC does a lot better than most heroes, but Brood always wins in the end. Like, anybody who's played this will tell you that eventually the Brood will just overtake the lane. So he's doing his best work at the moment though, 13 to 2 versus the 13 for 0. Top lane, just uh, Puppy trying to disrupt the lane in Equilibrium and Swindle. Maybe need to be careful because Artie's in Kuroki. They're keeping themselves very, very close to the town, looking for any kind of opening S4. Trying to find a bit of space and time to farm, but it's certainly not going to be the case as Z-Freak Moomianda on the sidelines. Mid lane. Zai, 1v1ing Zizzy here, but having a little bit of a trouble. And top lane, it's going to be them going in. The Rocket Barrage on top fly. They do punch him down there. Puppy with the final slap. So no matter, just turning this around, at least trying to. But the Nether Blast coming out for Kuroki. Maybe making him think twice before going any more ham. TP from the bottom lane coming in from Moomiander. Maybe they can turn this. There's going to be the return of the Witch Doctor coming in very, very soon. Can they get the kill onto Kuroki? Decrepts him trail. Trying to get away, but now Swinomelas and now the paralyzing cast finishing him off. Witch Doctor with a rotation will find that kill on the snowball. Is he going to catch up to Puppy? He has got a nature's guys. They don't have detection. RTZ there with a rocket barrage available here. Moon right. maybe going a little bit too aggressive. He has got Fly here with a Voodoo Restoration. And is just going to be able to escape from this one. But now, the TP back into lane. They've got the full three-man back up here on the side of Secret. But again, this game, 
chaos everywhere across the map, but it certainly seems like complexity. They're ready to deal with it. That was a little bit weird. <laughs> Moon actually almost gave away a kill there, but a little bit of just lane rotations for both teams trying to maximize their efficiency in this lane, and uh, I I yeah. think he wanted he to was, just... Uh, he was poisoned. It was very yeah. close, but S4 could have killed it. He wanted just so to avoid the death. Yeah. He was very scared of S4. And rightfully so, top lane again. Merlin's finding a bit more fun than he would have done in the mid lane, but still not a lot. 7 CS up in this top lane compared to RTZ 17. Falling behind. Mid lane Zai, 23 for 2. Zizi just a little bit behind it, but not a lot. It's going all right for both of the heroes here in the mid lane who are both finding their farm. Zai starting to stack up the broodlings. Oh, they've run out now, but 2-2 two two at the moment, 4 minutes in between these two sides. Pretty close here at the moment in the laning stage. Yeah, Complexity have managed to stabilize a bit, so they're not really too worried now about the, the individual matchups. They got their Viper in a safe lane. Melons is still farming. Okay, they're going to snowball in here. They want to go for RTZ. And they might just find it. He's going to have to decrepit him some place in time and hit the Rocket Brush. He's trying to turn it around, but he's just stuck up. Trapped up. Will go down. Look at the Voodoo Restoration just with the Nether Ward. Hitting back Puppy's at the... Puppy's only level one. Puppy's coming in. Look at the punches. Indeed, level one. How much can he do? Well, he can still punch for an absolute chuck ton. Now Zai with the rotation. That's going to be your Witch Doctor down. And he might even look to try and clean this one up because Swindle Melon's incredibly low. Looking to get out to the side. They want to find Puppy, but Mumiander won't be able to. Zai does get the double kill as he takes down Swindle here on the Viper as well. And Puppy will live. Zai coming in just at the right time with that rotation, turning it around for the team at bottom lane, S4. He jumps in and he gets the kill onto Techies. So it's getting kills across the map here for the side of Secret. How many times do you think you can honestly say you've seen a brood go mid and then gank? That was actually just a ganking brood. Like, who does that? It's so random, and it's just like, it's actually working out so well at this point. If Zai eventually wants to transition to top, all he has to do is redrop a couple of webs. And he can just sit top if he doesn't want to keep going mid up against that LC. And Ziz even made his way up here, maybe anticipating that that could be the case. Either that or he wants Fly to hit six. And, and now Zai's back mid, and he's found Fly. Flies alone. He's going to take a bit of harassment here. RTZ actually heading, to, well, hanging around the mid lane as well, looking for the farm. And here comes Zai's army, moving in towards the lane. Fly's going to have to be very careful how far out he comes. They do have this sentry down. They haven't been able to deward this yet. Side of secret. But Fly's going to be well aware. But, uh, yeah, okay, backup actually coming in. Maybe they can find this here with Zai. He's just under the cover of the sentry, nice. and they'll blow him up immediately. He killed Fly, though, still. Okay, he gets the kills, but it's, yeah, after he's died anyway, the suicide from, uh, from Techie is enough to bring him down. And seven for four, and still, Legion's farm looking pretty nice here. In the middle lane, TP down to the bottom lane, coming from Puppy. He's now managed to hit level two, but... Yeah, this game, Puppy hasn't managed to find a lot of XP at all. I'm surprised he went uh, armor instead of Leaf Seed, especially if he's going to be roaming like this. Oh, with the slow from S4 and the punches, but oh, the cast! The cast will bounce a couple of times here, and that was S4 blinking in aggressively. The living armor is not going to be enough, or is it? With the ball charges, one more hit! Bring him low with the poison damage, will be able to pull himself through it. That Just was... living. That was incredibly close there. Wrap around on the top lane from Moon. Going in, ready with the Legion, and they have got the jewel available. Here we go! Mortal Kombat gets the jewel! Ziz with the rotation and his 416 victory on the Legion Commander. You actually just made a Mortal Kombat joke, didn't you? That's incredible. You know what? High five. Test your might and all that jazz. So, right now, the, the lane rotations for both teams, like, no one really wants to stay still. And out of the secret, even, oh. oh god, that Chase. hurt. The amount of gold from those fighters. Moon's coming in. He's just watching in. He has got the snowball and the shards. Go all coming in the world. Fly from the backside. He has found Puppy. Puppy the nature's guys. Just front out the ice shot here. Zizi oh, trying to get rid of it, but the decrep. Making a little bit of nuisance. RT just wants in with a rush drive. Pew, pew, pew. So it's easy back and now fly for another cast. We'll be able to no, not the cast, so just getting rid of the Never Ward. Zai will be able to pick this off. He's got the nuke available in a couple of seconds. The right clicks are enough for light to go down. Puppy trying to chase down Zizi here, Ziz. Oh, pop. That's going to be Legion going down. Double kill for Zai on this Broodmother. And I've got to say, the mid Zai Brood certainly working out for Secret. Five kills, only died the once so far this game. He's got 1,900 gold. I'm going to be really interested to see what the build is for this Brood mid. I imagine he goes Midas. I mean, he's sitting on a lot of gold. If he, Oh, no, he, he goes back for Treads. Okay. 
So pretty much every brood player goes Midas, but I guess in a game where you have a mid brood, all bets are off in terms of normal item progression. Could be seeing something a little bit new coming out from here uh, in this game, but still, Secret definitely getting the advantage here early on. Uh, blind. Where he's got go? suicide. He's uh, yeah, he's uh, okay. I mean, because it was S4 going for in terms of build. Hasn't really found the farm to start building anything as of yet. He was being pressured by the Tusk Techies, so that lane is very, very difficult to function in, even as a Queen of Pain, especially considering Puppy was level one for so long, and he was kind of roaming around the map trying to make things happen. Okay, looking for it. Oh, with the burst! Oh, can't quite get it. Techie's able to get off the suicide. Only just there. And now at the back of that, Arteezy and S4 beginning to pressure the top towers. Is he coming in? He's got a jewel. Wants to, wants to maybe look to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> S4! He's not going to get away with that one! Goes down! And that's another jewel for the Legion commander. I'm not really sure <laughs> what just happened, actually. All right, a little bit confusing stuff coming out here from uh, Team Secret. And I'm loving it. This yep. is this is the kind of action we want between these two teams. Secret still with the lead, but complexity there, giving it some. Looking for Puppy, Puppy. Living on with the guys. Fly still yet to hit level six. Hasn't got the old Death Ward at his capability. Yeah, well, Zai board up. Okay. He's, He's going, going for the Blads. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good when you're in this position where you're not really like. You're not sitting in one lane and pressuring all the time. Like, you can sit there mid and you can farm the woods and such, and it'll keep you with a pretty good amount of mana regeneration, and you can just continually apply pressure to multiple lanes if you want. Because he's made the transition top, and even like going up into the side shop with his webs and just trying to kill that way as well. He's found a Legion. Legion, how's Legion doing in terms of build? Well, 1200 gone on top of the Tres bottom lane. Puppy getting caught out of there by the Tusk. And the Witch Doctor and the Viper, and off the back of that complexity, trying to look for this tier one. Top lane pings coming out. How's Arteezy's farm looking? Let's have a look at the old net worth. He is, at the moment, quite far behind. It's Zai at the top, but then followed by the Legion and Swindlemelons on his Viper. Overall, the difference between the two teams, only slightly on the side of Team Secret, is still very, very oh. close. Bottom lane, indeed, they're going for Kuroki. Kuroki will decrap himself, the car's coming out. They're going to wait it out. S4 maybe trying to turn this one around. Hasn't got the ultimate, though. Kuroki getting low, will fall. They have lost the Witch Doctor here. They're going to lose Swindle Melons as well. Mumiana tried to TP out for the sideline. Will he be able to make it? Yes, he will. Does get himself out, but they do lose two heroes there for the Kuroki kill. And Mizai just continuing to fight up against Aziz. I wonder if he'll ever get to use a courier. All right, here we go. Now he finally has it. Okay. That was, um... Okay, so now he's got Vlad's, he's got Treads. I'm wondering if he's going to go for the Deso build or if he wants to go something like BKB. But right now, he can completely take over the enemy's jungle. Uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Zai's farm's just going to increase to the point where we're going to see him stick on the top of that net worth board for quite a while if it continues at this pace. Legion 1700 towards what I'd imagine to be that Blink Dagger that Ziz is looking for. A blink is really solid. And also blade mail is good too. Oh, Ziz. Going in on Ziz. Here we go. He's actually got a jewel Zai here. I, I don't know if that's the jewel. I mean, he's not going to give away the da- Oh, he oh, is. He is. He yeah. is. Zai wins it. He gets the bonus plus 14. And... Yeah. I mean, well. Okay, so here's the thing. When Insatiable Hunger is popped, you cannot win a duel. Especially not when you're the only person there who's able to deal damage. And especially when they've got a quap helping out the brute. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, even in a 1v1, like if it was just those two heroes, and Insatiable Hunger is used, you just do not deal enough damage at this point in the game to counteract the healing that you get from just auto-attacking in general. And plus, Zai, yeah. he still has like 12 armor. He's got that Vlad's, he's got Poor Man's shield. With that Vlad's, he's going to be making his way towards top lane now, trying to pressure onto that tier 1. And the other thing, too, is this opens up really early Roshan opportunities for Secret because of the fact that they have that tree armor and they have Vlad's at such an early stage. Here we go, tier 1s. They're going to be able to take it. Swinomelis is pushing back S4 here in the mid lane. But this game, I've got to say, all eyes are on Zai at the moment. 1,300 gold accrued now on top of the Vlad's. And Ziz just hiding the tree on 1,800 gold towards that blink. Needs to be careful though, Kuroki Swindle. and Puppy are here. Mid lane, indeed. Zai going down on Swindle. He's got the backup of S4. Swindle's got to run. Zai with the insatiable hunger, chomping away now at he, the Viper. He needed the TP immediately. Top lane, Ziz tried to go in here as well. There are three heroes at the moment on the side of Secret. There's the backup of Moon. And the Ice Shards there will actually just force Secret back. They're not going to look for that kill. So Ziz able to keep himself alive, which he needs to do so when he's this close to having that blink 
with 1900 gold stockpiled up. I mean, he's sitting at, at the highest farm, so it's not like Zizis had a bad game or anything. He even got fed a couple of spiders, but his highest net worth is just towering over everyone else's right now. He is unbelievably farmed at this early stage. I'm really curious to see what he's going to go for. I wonder if he goes for, like, Book or if he goes the Manta-style build, which a lot of broods used to do back in the day. Just gives you that mobility. All right, it's a Mithril Hammer, so we're, we're probably going to be seeing it this, so. Okay, the full-out push. Oh, it's easy. Uh, he's he's kind of still sitting a bit into 4.3k gold. He's level with S4. And uh, he is just above Swindle Melons. But it's certainly not the RTZ level of farm we've come to expect from him. But uh, we're only 14 minutes in. We'll see how well he's able to transition they did, into the latter portions. They did kind of bail on him. I yes, mean, they, they he was kind of left on his own. They sent him top lane. Yeah. They're like, ah, you know what? We're out of here. It's not really safe anymore. So Puppy and Kuro kind of left. Z Freak is going to find him here in this lane. Uh, our pings are coming out. RTZ. Realizing he needs some assistance, there is going to be S4 making his way down, but Swindle's turned up, and RT's could be in a lot of trouble here. Trying to duke it out. They've caught him in the tree line here. And whoa! The ult from S4 will be able to find Techies. Techies does end up killing RT's with the mine, but S4 cleans up, gets himself a double kill as he wipes the Viper off as well. Top lane. Ziz has the blink, trying to close in onto Kuroki. I don't know if there's any way Kuroki can get out of this. Has a TP. But the jewel actually used on him whilst he was decrepified. Maybe could have used the uh, double holding on. No, ooh, doesn't win the jewel. They will get the kill. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit too quick there with the fight. Yeah, there was actually no reason to duel him like that. Because unless he's TPing, and then of course you can duel. But obviously waiting would have been the better play. And Zai, middle lane, he's just like, whatever, dude, I'm going to kill Fly. Hey, Mike, look at the spiders. Moon's in a lot of trouble as well. Moon, he's uh, the spiders jumping away. And one nuke would do it, but he hasn't quite got the mana to do so. Ziz is there as well with Z Freak now to back up. So, so I'm going to be careful. A few, well, 30 gold away from that second Mithril Hammer. But uh, this Zai Brood, it's, I don't think we've seen mid Brood from Secret ever before. Nope. And, uh, but we said it, man. We said this is a team who will do they will. experimental stuff. Like, they will change it up. They will make sure that you do not know exactly what they're going to be bringing to every game. Indeed, just a hundred of gold away from that completed desolator. Now we've seen what he's been able to do to the weaker members of the side of complexity so far, and it's actually increased tenfold with that armor reduction as well. Puppy trying to catch himself up and has got the recipe for the Hannah Midas. I mean, he's going to have the gloves of haste in a bit as well, so... 16-minute Midas, not too awful considering, considering how slow the start was. Really. He was level one yeah. for like, what, five minutes? It's pretty insane, yeah, the fact that he's got Oh, up. complexity coming in. Have they got any detect? They do have a dust here on Ziz. I don't know if they're... I'm not going to randomly pop it. Puppy. Just hiding in the trees. And top lane. The push coming in from S4 on Kuroki. Fly. He's going forward, trying to pull it back. And Ziz and Moon just looking for this opening. There are three heroes here at the moment on the side of Secret. It's going to be a hard jump to make. And the rest of Secret just looking to take this tower. One more blast, should be able to do it. Zeiss, he's found Z Freak. Suicide's available though, it's gonna be a hard one to go on, and Ziz has actually gone in here, did get the dust onto Puppy. TP reaction from S4, and Ziz and Moon will simply back away from this one. Top lane, Kuroki looking to go in here to take away the town, he'll get it there with that blast. More money into the pocket, a secret. Complexity for the time being. What is, what is their fallback mechanism like? What point in the game does their lineup actually become stronger? Because I'm thinking of it in my head and I'm thinking, okay, well, the Legion Commander has 20 damage. Ziz isn't snowballing that hard. Viper's not known for being He's a late game. He's just going to Midas as well, the Viper. Yeah, yeah. and he's going to went Midas, so. Snowball here. Maps right onto S4. S4 is going to get jeweled up as well. This is a good jewel potential. Yes, they do get the victory for Ziz there. And that's going to be S4 down for 40 seconds. Tower taken as well by Viper. And here's Zai with the Deso. Going for that Roche attempt. Told and you, man. You can just kill Roshan when you have these items. He gets away with it as well, I think. I don't think there's going to be anything this side of Complex he can do in time. He can just go back to the Tier 1, actually, after he kills this. Like, he can just walk up there and hit it, because, like, Tier 1s don't have back door protection, right? So, you just walk over there and you punch a tower. You maybe force Complexity to uh, TP to you. And some of them don't even have TPs. Yeah, this is free. This is, like... This is something that, okay, Ziz actually thought about, but then realized shortly after. Oh, oh, oh he's dead. Ziz. He is. Oh, maybe not. The slow, the Viper Strike for Swinomon, but now Secret Zai just turns to him. Look at this spider. You can't deal oh. with this. 
Why? Melons. Why doesn't melons just TP? You have to teleport away from Brood. You can't run. Man, this is one scary, scary spider. Oh, 2,200 gold now. On top of the Deso, the Vlads. Zai, he's putting in so much work in here for his team. Now RTZ catching up, second on the net worth. 18 to 11 though, and it is Zai with 10,500 in the bank. And as you said, just gonna push down this tier one here. Not a lot of the complexity you can do to stop with the fight actually going on here. As S4 picks himself up a triple kill. I mean, pretty, is... pretty casual S4 triple kill, you know, just randomly in the river. No big deal. And, and that's one tower down, and Zai's gonna look for more. The push is going to be on, the spidlings are out, and here comes the creep wave. Three heroes down on the side of complexity. Secret could look to just push push even out, and the, he's got a hyper stone now as well, and, and with the pushing build in mind, I wouldn't be surprised if, I guess he just goes for the straight up AC now on top yeah, of the Yeah, it's probably going to be curious. That's that's my guess as well. I mean, you can go, uh, let's see, you can go Moonshard, I guess, something a little bit clowny, but... I mean, this the amount of push that he has right now is nuts. Like, look at how fast this tier 2 is dying. How are they supposed to stop this from complexity? I think they actually got pulled into a, a knee-jerk reaction by picking that LC, saying we need something that actually counters Brood. And then even with the Brood counter in Zai and lane, like he did get quite a few spiders, you know? So it's not like Ziz had a bad laning phase. It's just you can't actually do anything when, like, he ganked. It was a ganking Brood. He ended up getting his team two kills in top lane. He gets his Vlads up really quickly with the treads. Sneaks Roshan when Complexity are pushing in. Like, Zai has pretty much done all the work right now. And it's reflected in the fact that he has the highest net worth by a large margin. An Orchid now picked up by S4 here on the quad. 21 level. Let's look at the graph, the difference. 12,000 favoring the side of Secret. Not land at the moment, though. Gyro did get the kill on to Techies. And now he could be caught out here. Is he going to look for the duel? Can they actually bring him down? Artis is fairly down Tacky, even with the Death Ward. They can't win the duel. They do get themselves the kill. But Zai, he's, on, he's in your base and he's onto your tier three here. You're going to need to do something in reaction. S4 and Puppy, though, trying to stop any kind of help coming in. And there we go with the overgrowth to cancel the TP. And at the same time, Zai's just killing people. Everyone's dead. And Zai is just, my goodness, double kill for Zai. Tier three is going to drop to the push of him and Kuroki. And the fight's still continuing up here. S4. Looking for Swindle Melons. Science to fight. Won't actually find the kill here. It's going to be a buyback from Ziz. The Racks are under heavy attack here. They're going to be able to clear this one out the side of Secret. And that's going to be the bottom Racks down. He, he gets the deny, he gets I guess. The deny, but racks. I think at this point, they'll be looking at the mid brood and, and just going, wow, this, this, this actually destroyed us. Unexpected, I think, is the, the word that we can use. Because I saw the brood and I thought it was just standard off lane brood as well. But then I thought about it more, and I was like, okay, well, if you if you put the Brood mid, and you don't get that Queen matchup against Viper, then you have two lanes that automatically should do pretty well. And allegedly, sure, the Queen of Pain kind of struggled against Tusk Techies, but anybody would, right? And the important part is, the only kill he gave away was to one set of mines, and then after that, he didn't really die in the lane. So that means the Tusk Techies are just not really contributing what they need to be at that point in the game. And even with RTZ not even farming much, it didn't matter because no one can deal with the Brood. Like, Zai right now is enormous. AC, Vlad's, Deso, treads 1,500 gold I mean, at 22 minutes in. RTZ as well, he's, he's just a few hundred gold away from his butterfly. Complexity have found him here in the jungle, and oh, here we go. S4 with the Sonic Wave onto two. Suicide there from Techies. Death one has been popped down the cards as well, but they oh, Moon just in top of the snowball. RTZ dispatches of the Witch Doctor. Finds a double kill here. Ziz looking for the jewel, but there's the heal. Giving him his health. Give you your energy, RTZ. Ziz will go down to the triple kill. Maybe even more. They do lose the Pugna here. RTZ, he wants the Ultra. He's going for it. He won't get it. Swindle kills him. S4 with the Avengers taking down the Viper. And Zai, well, what's he doing? Well, he's looking at your base, and uh, that's uh, that's what he's going to be going for next. So, so Z3 coming out. It's it's alone, Techies. And uh, Techies, of He doesn't course. have suicide. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Zai's Zai, going yep. for the gold. He wants it. it... Yep. It's... Oh! All right, the well's not going to stop. Damn, that's He that just needs crystalless. to keep hitting him. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. He's got an age. Just... <laughs> There's ice shards up, though. I think he gets blocked here. So, question mark coming up. Oh no! Pushed him out! Zai! Oh man! 
well, Dota 2. Yeah, I'd say that accurately this describes is... this particular game. I see you know, just... Heads are being shaped. And Zai, well, he's gonna look for Moon. Moon has got the snowball here. But I think this game, complexity, gonna be walking away with a serious case of arachnophobia. And Zai, oh, okay. Look at I the heal. He heals for so much with his ult on, they can't kill him. Oh my goodness, Zai. What, what, what do you do? I what, think you, you, what do you do at this point? I, I mean, think you win if you're secret. Like that's uh, can they kill Zai? Have they got the mine out? That, oh, that no. did like no damage. Kuroki is giving Zai his energy. <laughs> Moon back to the base. And uh, it is just the uh, the fountain farming beginning at the moment. And back, back well, Midrax has been taken as a secret. I think they feel that this one... It's in the bag. This may just be over. Yeah, it's, it's definitely in the bag. And the Moon complaining about the hero. <laughs> Well, to be honest, there's been a lot of games where Brood has gone completely unnoticed. Like, not banned, not picked, just completely ignored. And then you have a game like this where a team like Secret just makes it look ridiculously strong. And a lot of it, again, is just due to the matchup and how the hero actually functions against this style of team. And the Legion Commander really being the only hero on the team that has a direct answer to the Brood in lane. But a lot of people forget that once you get right-click items and you have that insatiable hunger, LC is actually not that good against Brood. We saw earlier a duel where he couldn't even kill the Brood. Like, he just can't. Oh, there we go. This may be the final fight. Moving forward on Swin Melons with the Rocket Barrage, the right clicks. Jaro will find the kill. And there we go. S4 with the ultimate, bringing down Tusk. Oh, Zai, beyond godlike now. 13 for 1 for 3. He's looking for more. Walks into the base. And uh, just going to get walked around a little bit. Looking for Ziz. Yeah, would have been able to find it. Uh, yes, he will. That's going to be a triple kill for our TZ Kuroki giving Zai. All of his energy. And Zai just tanking up the mines and uh well this may this may be it, Andy. This may Maybe. be the end. GG. I'm no expert, but I would say nah. that this game is it's pretty close to being over. We talked about whether secret we're ready to deal with the Tusk techies of someone else's and it was the case. The game is over, the game is done. Secret take the series 2-0. Complexity give up a good fight in the first game, but game two. It's all about the Zybrood in the mid lane.